if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again and welcome to episode number 13 of the Wolfsburg career mode here on FIFA 16. We had a bit of a sticky patch yesterday, not the best of results, in a bit of a dodgy spell of form. Hoping to improve that today if we can. We know that we need a win in this first game against Club Bruges. So the Champions League situation is on a knife edge. We need Real Madrid to beat Juventus and we need to beat Club Bruges. Regardless of what happens in the Juve uh, Real Madrid game, we have to beat Club Bruges. As you can see, a point won't be enough to catch us up with Juventus. But a win, we can. Uh, with a win, we can overtake them and go into second and go through into the knockout stages of the Champions League. If we draw, then we'll finish third and we'll go through to the knockout stages of the Europa League. And I believe if we lose, we'll go out of all European competitions. So... There's rather a lot riding on today's game, but we'll try and get the win if we can, obviously. Verinia, Draxler, Schürrle and Max Kruse are going to be the front line. Been thinking recently about playing Nabil Fakir up top as striker in a couple of games, but uh, I'm probably going to intro introduce that for tomorrow's episode. But for now, we're starting with Max Kruse, and, well, Max Kruse does very well to start us off. Seven minutes in, Wolfsburg 1, Bruges nil. so maybe it won't be the best of ideas to put Nabil Fakir in a striker. I'm not sure, because Max Kruse has played about 13 games for us this season. I think that's only his third goal in all competitions, so... He's not been too prolific. He was very good in pre-season, but as you can see here, click opportunity, and he's put it wide. He's got to do better with chances like that. Chance for Club Bruges, though, to, uh, to come forward. Does really well there, the midfielder, to ride the challenge of the two defenders. Gets it over the top here to Rafaelov. Turns inside, but it's a simple finish or a simple save from a, uh, uh, an easy shot, and uh, we're able to maintain our 1-0 lead. We take the advantage from that free kick and play on here. Draxler finds Diekmeyer, Varinha into the middle. Back to Julian Draxler, though. He's going to get it into Luis Gustavo, of all players, and he rifles it into the back of the net. He scored a brilliant goal on... Friday night in Friday's episode where uh, he finessed the ball from outside the box into the far bottom corner was an extremely impressive finish but this one was all about the power on the shot rather than the placement and he just put his foot straight through it and it flew into the back of the net good save there though by Diego Benaglio reaching up towards his top left hand corner to pluck that one out of the air was actually headed right into the top corner from Yelavosin and needed to be saved obviously we lost to Bruce in the first game of the uh, of the group stage or well, not the first game of the group stage the first game again them in the group stage we actually lost was it 2-1 I believe I think the final score was so uh, a little bit of, uh, of payback here warranted for us and obviously with us needing the win to uh, potentially go through to the knockout stages then obviously that's an added bonus but brilliant strike there from their midfielder cutting in from that left hand side but again Benaglio on form with a br with a break with a brilliant save brilliant mixture of brilliant and great there in one word there you go a great save to uh, to push it out wide for a corner we get the win 8.6 million is the tournament prize money. Is it going to be enough, though? The answer? No, unfortunately not. Juventus drew with Real Madrid and go through on goal difference. We obviously beaten them 2-1 in the group stage and then they beat us 2-1 in the group stage so unfortunately we go out on goal difference all we needed was one more goal against Bruges and we would have gone through but unfortunately it was not to be so knockout stage football is guaranteed in Europe just not in the Champions League we'll be dropping down to the Europa League but we're in a good place to be able to push forward in that competition and maybe stand a great chance of winning it and getting back into the Champions League that way or obviously just by finishing top four in the Bundesliga and getting through that way. We are, though, playing in the uh, Deutsche Pockel right now. Andre Schöler, Julian Jackson, Verinja and Kruse are again the front four. There was a bit of a break in between the two games. We're playing against Ingolstadt, though. Obviously a promoted side. We played them in the league recently, and I believe we got a victory. I can't quite remember, actually, but uh, they started off on the front foot here. It's at night. It's in the snow, as you can see. I think the uh, the forecast, again, was flurries. So uh, we'll have to wait and see whether the weather can affect the proceedings. But going on a really nice run here. I got really nervous. I have been in a, the previous couple of episodes of, ju of jumping in with uh, a tackle in the box. I'd rather, I'd rather just get in the way of a shot, but I tried to get in the way of that shot, and it just didn't work. I 
brilliant whip into the far bottom corner and that makes it 1-0 Ingolstadt. They take the uh, the lead in this one. And then Lecky, that turn, that turn, by the way, absolutely sold me with the defender. I went for the tackle. I thought, I've got to put a tackle in now. And as I pressed the B button, he stopped dead and went the other way. It was an incredible turn and, to be fair, a really good finish as well. So we're 2-0 down here against Ingolstadt. I'll be completely honest... I'm not that fussed about the Deutsche Pokal this year, especially considering we're still in Europe now with knockout stage football, with it being on a Thursday night as well, now that it's the Europa League football. I'm not really bothered about the Deutsche Pokal. I don't mind going out, but obviously I'd rather not go out to a side like Ingolstadt. So we'll try and get ourselves back on level terms if we can. But as you can see, the chances that we've had so far, Max Kruser puts another guilt edge chance wide. And then I don't know how we weren't able to get that secondary chance there into the back of the net when the ball was drilled across the goal mouth. Max Kruser is involved again here, turning inside onto his left, runs out of space, so does get it to Drax. So he gets the turn in and the shot, but it's wide as well. The finishing, just not on point in this second game we were very good against Bruges with some really you know top quality finishing but in this second one very very poor a corner here with less than 10 minutes to go now the header from Julian Draxler is punched away by Nylon the goalkeeper Ingolstadt are going to go through to the quarterfinals of the Deutsche Pokal I was obviously like I've said not that fussed to go out but at the same time it's disappointing to go out against a side like Ingolstadt who are a side we really should be beating but we come back to Bundesliga action hoping to bounce back to uh, a victory or bounce back with a victory same way that we did with uh, the game against Club Bruges we bounced back with a victory in that game after losing the last game of the previous episode against Borussia Dortmund so fingers crossed we can uh, continue a decent run of form 4-2-2-2 is the formation from Stuttgart uh, Serie D8 in there obviously um, Maxime as well, the five-star skiller starting in an attacking midfield position for them and a bit of a rotated side here, starting Nebel Fakir out on the right with Hakan Chananolu in at Cam, although if Max Kruse continues to be wasteful, then like I say, I definitely will give Nabil Fakir the chance at striker over the next couple of episodes. Maxim shows great strength there for a small guy to uh, brush past the defenders, and then I was so annoyed that that ball went into the back of the net. The goal, the first goal against Ingolstadt was in similar fashion, or it was a similar finish. Diego Benaglio has been brilliant for us this season, but those finishes just have to be saved. That one actually from Maxim hit him in the face on its way into the back of the net. He went with his hands and in the end it brushed off his nose to uh, go into the far corner. Good save that time though from a header from the edge of the box but to be fair it's a header from the edge of the box. He should be saving it. Max Cruz involved here though gets tackled on the edge. Maximilian Arnold recovers possession though. Ricardo Rodriguez gets it through to Andre Scherler. Into Cruiser again. Not too sure which way to turn though. Obviously he's left footed. Gustavo actually has to turn back onto his left here again but there are so many defenders between him and the ball at all times. Stuttgart were defending you know, amazingly to try and keep hold of their 1-0 lead to this point in the game. We're trying to get ourselves back level there, but we give the ball away there. A hasty pass, not thinking about the pass, but what a finish. Brilliant, brilliant shot across goal from their striker to make it 2-0. I was getting so impatient in the build-up because we just weren't able to create the chances I wanted to in the game against Ingolstadt in the snow and here against uh, Stuttgart away from home as well. I was just getting frustrated at my all-round play. Fakir did get an opportunity there, but it was a good save by Langerak. Obviously, he's formerly of Borussia Dortmund. They moved him on and brought in uh, Berkey, the Swiss keeper. We, we lose in the, uh, the Bundesliga as well as in the Deutsche Pokal in today's episode. We've dropped to fourth in the Bundesliga table right now, and that's our third defeat in all competitions. Well, not in all competitions, but our third defeat in the Bundesliga this year. So hopefully in tomorrow's episode we can come out of this really, really dodgy spell. But the rise of Bayern Munich, by the way, they were nowhere three or four episodes ago, and they must have just won four, five, six games on the trot, and they've got themselves a four-point lead at the top of the table. Mental stuff. We've effectively swapped with Bayern Munich. We were first, they were fourth or fifth. And, you know, the, the way that they were playing to start the season is the way that we're playing now mid-season. So hopefully we can go on a resurgent run the way they have between now and the end of the year and push for that title spot. But that will bring today's episode to a close. We do actually have a game in hand, as you can see, on Bayern Munich. So we can close to within three points of them. But like I say, that's going to bring today's episode to a close, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Check the channel page for anything you may have missed over the past few days. As always, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow the links in the description to all of my social media, most importantly, Twitter and, of course, follow me on Twitch as well, where I'll be streaming Ultimate Team later tonight. But for now, I'll see you next time.